Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Smart Coding. This is the continuation of the API management video and we are going to see part 4. In this video what I am going to cover is the policies, securities and more about how to apply the policies and uh, you know what kind of policies are there, capabilities of the policies and uh, what kind of restrictions you can achieve, all those things. Come let's dive in. So bear with me, you need to understand this first before we uh, do a demo. The next two three videos will be completely demo there won't be zero theory so stick to this let's understand how it looks and then we will be very easy for you to implement in the demo so what are policies policies are a powerful capability of azure api management that allow changing the behavior of the api through the configuration so with the configuration you can actually change the behavior of how the api will uh, will do Okay, so policies are nothing but a collection of statements that are executed sequentially on the request or on the response of an API. It could be when it is receiving or the policies can apply on the response before it was sent to the end client. Okay, so those are that is called policies. So le let me name it some uh, Azure API management policies like you can you can actually convert your incoming XML to JSON or you can also convert your JSON to XML when you're returning as in response okay so that is one policy and you can also restrict the number of uh, the amount of incoming calls per minute or per hour or you know in total for a subscriber itself and it also enforces the existing or even the value of the http header and there are so many things okay so we are going to talk about the policy scope and there are four types of policy scope one is the global scope which affects all the API within the instance of the API management. Okay, if you apply some policies to the global scope, then that policy is applicable for all the APIs within that API management. The second level is the product scope. So at the product level, you can apply some policies. You can apply policies directly at the API scope. You can even apply at the operation scope. So operation scope affects only one operation within the API. Okay, so those are the four types of uh, scopes under the policies. So when do these policies execute? If you see, there are four ways the policies can execute. One is the inbound, one is the backend, the outbound, and then the last one, the error. Okay. If you see on the portal, if you come to this uh, API, you can see this inbound processing, backend, and then outbound processing, and the last one is the error. Error is basically uh, if something goes wrong within this three operation, like request is received and by the time uh, response is sent, sent, if something goes wrong, the error will kick in and uh, based on what you have configured in the error, uh, it can do this step, okay? Remember one thing, anything that goes wrong within the, uh, let's say you have a couple of policies and it just uh, some exception happened in the one of the API, it will skip everything, it will directly come to the, to the error handling stuff, okay? Now let's take a look at the examples of these things right just quickly so if you click on add policy under the inbound you have various inbound policies okay so these are the uh, policies that you can apply for the incoming request so you can you can check whether the incoming request is from a particular ip, IP. that's called ip filtering you can limit the call rate you can mock the response you can do some query parameters you see this so many things are there you can check this cross origin resource sharing you can validate JWT. This is one of the users was asking, can I offload the JWT validation here? Yes, of course you can do. We will see that in a different demo, but that comes under the inbound policy. I'm going to discard that. And uh, similarly, if you go to the backend policies, so similarly, you can actually go to backend policies. You can go to outbound processing, but you see this arrow mark, which is I'm saying new. So this is the front end. This is the flow, which is coming. And then it goes to inbound policy it goes to backend backend through outbound processing okay so here if you click on it you can set the headers when it is returning validate the content headers you know so many uh, these policies and um, let's let's discard this let's go to all right now let's take a look at how the policy structure is so this is the example of a policy structure start with the policy xml and then inbound backend outbound and on error this is what i was referring to okay now if you closely look you can add 
the inbound policies here you can add the backend policies here like this okay so let me uh, give an example uh, in the portal there is a good way microsoft has given us if you just click on this inbound policy you you click on this expand snippet you see this these are the different categories of policies like we spoke about what is policy how it looks and all right so you see this under authentication policy what you can do under transformation policy what you can do all these things you can convert xm to json json to xml right advanced policies are also there and you know so many policies we will we will definitely see in the demo but let's say if you wanted to do something right let me show you how the policy looks like so this is the input policy so what i wanted to do was basically do something like uh, let's say uh, the incoming is an xml okay so I wanted to convert XML to JSON and then uh, if I click on this, the, the snippet will come here and that will convert my incoming XML to JSON and then forward it to the backend API. Okay, so this is just an example. So similarly, if you have a base here, which means you can actually apply more uh, policies. Okay, so if, if, if this policy is applied to this API, if there are some global policies, then that also will come into picture along with this something like that okay so now uh enough theory we can actually discard all these things we will see uh those things in the demo all right so that's it for this part and then the next three part will be a live demo with the postman and uh, don't forget to watch uh, the rest of the videos thank you thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and Never forget to click on the bell icon.